Before ISIL set fire to these oil wells, they riddled the whole zone with explosive devices. We've been told not to stray from this area in case we step on one. The sniper just took a shot at us. The bullet hit the wall and ricocheted off. You can tell that that water is just not healthy for children or anybody to be drinking. Now I'm ready to be shot. Keep filming. There's explosions all around us, but there's still civilians trapped in this neighborhood. Toby Muse spent several days inside a FARC camp and has some rare insight. In these daily meetings, they would discuss military strategy. They would teach war. We're waiting for FARC guerrillas to turn up to hand over the body of the second pilot. It's the afternoon. We've been here all day witnessing just how many civilians are being afflicted by this war. <laughs> Ya no vive nadie en Asia. No one lives here anymore. It's pitch black. And if you let yourself think about it too much, it feels like there's hundreds of tons of rock and earth just waiting to come down on you. Correspondent Toby News shows us what it's like to take this plane on its route through the Amazon. It's not just the necessities of life these planes are bringing. They're also helping to develop these tiny towns of the Amazon. This is coca, the raw material from which is made cocaine. We've been given the green light. I'm on my way now to meet a trafficker. These female guerrillas are practicing for a military march they will hold to celebrate the day of non-violence against women. A new year for a war that drags on. This is what victory looks like. The truth is important because we're all linked on this planet. When you can jump on a plane and get to anywhere in the world, how are you not that person's cousin? <laughs>